hope it just clicked over and said it was on air. Oh, good. Also, oh, maybe maybe they missed. Maybe the, uh... maybe you should introduce yourself again. Just I am Brittany Jean. I'm a singer songwriter, and I'm here with the lovely author Janelle Schmidt. We're going to ask each other some questions that we've been asked frequently, or by you, or by each other, and just hang out because this is a Google Hangout. There you go. There you go. I was wondering, you have a lot of unique names for your characters, and what goes on behind the scenes of creating a name, choosing the name for these characters you form? Yes, yes. Names are the bane of my existence. Uh, <laughs> they're also really fun, it just they take so long. Usually I have the character in mind way before I come up with a name. I like, especially with King's Warrior, I wanted all of the names to have a specific meaning that had something to do with that character's personality or who they were and so that that took a lot of time. I use a, a baby name book online where you can search by meaning and would look stuff up um, constantly. Uh, mm -hmm. with, with the dragon's names, usually those just kind of pop into my head. Rendak! Down the dragon. <laughs> so let's go with it. Uh, and sometimes I will get frustrated because I can't think of anything and so I just kind of mash my fingers on the keyboard and then, without looking and then I open my eyes and see if anything can be pronounced. <laughs> that's, <laughs> funny. So, that's very, uh, that's clever. I wonder if anybody else tries it that way. <laughs> I, I don't know. So your second book is coming out soon. Yes. What is the name of that book? Second Son. I can't wait to read it. What oh, is good. it? When is it coming out? That is a good question. <laughs> Soon. I'm hoping before the end of June. I have been having a hard time coming up with a blurb for the back cover content. So ah, that's ah, holding up the yeah. show a little bit. Yeah. With Second Sun coming out soon, what will be next? Like, what's what's next on the authoring? Horizon. Well, <laughs> the next thing is um, editing book three, uh, which I <laughs> am not telling you the title of tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh man! <laughs> the title will be revealed at the end of Second Sun, so you're going to have to buy Second Sun either in paperback or Kindle format in order to find out what the title of book three is going to be. And I am also currently writing a new series and am about two-thirds of the way through the first book. Rough draft. Yeah. I saw that you have been doing a book giveaway. Is that still going on? Yes, it is. Or... It is going on until Friday. And that's on Goodreads. Goodreads. So All right. Go look at the giveaways, type in King's Warrior. Isn't it also you just posted something recently about King's Warrior being 99 cents? Yes, it is 99 cents on Kindle until Second Son is released, which gives me a good incentive to get Second Son released. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yes, yeah. yes, it is, it is 99 cents on Kindle. So, Brittany, when did you start really getting serious about music? Well, let me tell you, I have been involved in music for as long as I can remember. I started playing the piano when I was about, oh, a young lass, and <laughs> I like your pirate hat. And Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. In seventh grade, I wanted to start being in musicals because my best friend was doing musicals, and so I wanted to be in those too. So that's when I started taking voice lessons because I wanted to get solos or, you know, have a line here or there, which was kind of funny because I never did any high school musicals. In high school I started writing songs because for this fall play that my high school did, the students could do student submissions in the fall play. And so you and I wrote a song mm -hmm. um, called Were They Angels? And oh, really? uh, that's when I discovered that I really like writing music. I don't know, it's been just kind of a, a gradual thing, always something I loved. Um, and now it's like recording is, 
so much fun, and that's what I wanted. Is your name Mr. Stefano, but then you got rid of the mustache. Oh, yeah. I, I thought it might be time for a shave. <laughs> Are you working on any new songs currently? Mm. I am. I'm working on, well, I just finished writing four songs, and I am uh, working on finishing a fifth song, and all five of these songs I want to record, but I have to pick four for this next time around. I don't know which four I'm going to pick. But yes, I am. I'm writing a new song. It's called, it's called uh, Something to Miss. And I'm not going to tell you any more about it. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, I am. Cool. Well, I cannot wait to hear that one. That one's kind of the mystery song. <laughs> so uh, speaking of your recording date, in um, your, that's coming up in July, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's right. July 8th, hopefully. Um, it's kind of all hinging on uh, a Kickstarter project going on right now to help fund the last third of my album. And if that's successful, I will definitely be able to go. So, um, Very cool. Just hoping and praying. So, But yeah, July 8th. All right. Uh, where can people find out more information about your Kickstarter stuff? Well, you can go to just kickstarter.com, type in Brittany Jean, and something will pop up saying Brittany Jean Whispers Stories CD. And you can click on that, and you'll find updates and what that's all about. And yeah, just go to Kickstarter. <laughs> okay. Very good to know. Uh, the first day, the first day we went to Hilltop Studios in Nashville, I, uh, I knew that that's, I knew then that this is what I want to do. And uh, so, yeah, it's just, it's a blast. It's a lot of fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. What is, what would you say is your favorite thing or your favorite part about the putting a song together? My favorite part is when I get to the end of, I've written it, I have a song, but I haven't played any of it for my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll bring my parents out to the foyer and I'll have them listen to it. And my favorite part is if I've gotten it right, if the song's done, I'll get to the end and they'll say, play it again. And <laughs> that's it. That's my favorite thing. You just said you, you go out and play in the foyer. Any particular reason? Well, the foyer is code for the chapel. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> the foyer is just the front entry to our house, but it's got the ceilings that kind of are interesting and I don't know how to describe it, but it's very resonant and you know your voice reverberates and makes it. It's a room where it's very easy to sing and sound good. So yeah, okay. <laughs> that's where I like to test out my songs. <laughs> nice, nice. Put that makes the, sense. Put all, put everything in my favor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Singing in the cathedral. Yes. <laughs> uh, what What would you say? Just move in a, a little different track here. What would you say is your favorite song? or a couple of songs of all time that you have not written? Probably Too Late for Praying by Gordon Lightfoot. That's a good one. Mm. Um, a Living Prayer is by Ron Black. Alison Krauss sings it. Okay. Um, and another one that would be up there would be uh, You'll Be There by George Strait. Anyway, yeah, that's Ooh. those three. The title of your album is Whispered Stories. You like, you've like you said on your Kickstarter page that you like to take other people's stories and turn them into music and, and make them you know, something more than just a story. Yeah. Also on your Kickstarter project, people can hear the entire song, Roxy. Um, yes. What, can you tell me that story? Like how, how you met the people involved? Yes, I can. Okay. Roxy, that, the song in the Kickstarter video at the end is called Roxy. And that came from my mom and dad and myself. We went on a road trip out west to Washington to visit my brother and his wonderful wife. Um, for the first time, we hadn't been out there before. And on the way, we went close to Mount Rushmore. So we thought, hey, let's go to Mount Rushmore because we've never been there. And so we did, and it was really cool. We saw a man by the gift shop who had a dog with him and the dog was wearing a vest that said ask about me so my dad walked up and said I'm sorry but your dog is telling me to ask about you 
So <laughs> this, this man told us that he was a soldier and a veteran, and his dog, Roxy, helps him with his post-traumatic stress by you know, leaning against him or stepping on his foot or leading him out of wherever he is, like if he's in a grocery store, she knows where the exits are and she'll just start leading him out if she can tell that he's starting to have a problem. And so much, she told us a lot about his experiences um, overseas and uh, it just opened my eyes to the fact that when soldiers get home, they still need our support, you know, support our troops back home too. And I just, it, the, the story, the idea, meeting the two, meeting him and Roxy just struck me. Uh, as we left Mount Rushmore, I told my parents, well, don't be surprised if you hear a song about this someday. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it was, it was very cool. And I think, the best, I think the best part was after, you know, getting it written, which took a long time, longer than I thought it would, and getting it recorded, sending it off to him in the mail. That was, that was exciting, just waiting for his response. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's where and it's from. He has responded, correct? He has, yep. What did he, he think has. of the song? He liked it. Okay. He said he said that um, he thought it was spot on, which was a big compliment because yeah. you know I took a 15-minute conversation and turned it to, into a song, and the fact mm -hmm. that it would affect him and make him think that yeah, that was that's that's right. You know, that was a big compliment to me. Cool. So. Well, I was wondering if maybe you'd be willing to grab that guitar behind you and, and <laughs> play the chorus of Roxy. We were uh, kind of underwater there for a moment. <laughs> just, just a moment. <laughs> 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 we're so hilarious. We are funny people, people. <laughs> well, the reason my guitar was there is because this is Oliver. I named hello. my guitar. Because oh, hello, Oliver. It is my friend. Hello. Um, <laughs> And Oliver wanted to be a part of our first ever hangout. So there you go. Makes sense. There you go. It's <laughs> a so, Roxy. Let's see. It's been a while since I played this, so we'll see if it goes off. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so Roxy brings you home. You don't need to be alone. I hope you know there are so many people who are proud of and thankful for you. And we're glad you made it home. You can hear the whole song on a Kickstarter project. So that's right. And all that's professionally right. recorded. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, thanks so much for testing out Google Hangouts on air with me tonight. Yeah. Well, thank you. It's just fun. You're welcome. I feel like we kind of know what we're doing now, so we can do it again. Possibly. That is a good look for you, Janelle. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, I'm a little concerned about the fact that it hides my entire face and you say it's a good look for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh, I, I like I like it. I like it. Is it your birthday? <laughs> trick candle. Ha <laughs> ha. Trick candle. Trick candle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I'm going scuba diving. You're going That's scuba diving. Yes, I am. All right, actually, hey, before we go, my lovely assistant you made have this. An assistant? I have no assistant. www.facebook.com forward slash B Jean, J E A N, music. Yeah. Go to kickstarter.com. Here are all of our. You can find out more. Yes, I can read that. That's fine. Okay, good deal. Yes. So there are our different sites where you can find what's going on. Yes, and we can we can always put the <laughs> can always put the uh, links links under the YouTube page. Yes, we we are an odd mixture of quite technologically with it. We're doing a Google Hangout on <laughs> air, and not so technologically with it as we have a whiteboard. <laughs> Gotta have the whiteboard. I mean, come on. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank All you, right. Janelle. 
You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and thank right. you to everyone who might be watching and might watch later. <laughs> Bye. Awesome. Bye. <laughs>